What could come out of the spring summits uh, with Kim Jong-un and Trump? I mean, it's a high-risk, high-reward, and some people are saying, look, whatever it is, it delivers legitimacy to an administration. And as Bremer, Ian Bremer just said there to us, this could be the defining uh, issue for this administration. Uh, you are right. Actually, the symbolism of this meeting between you know, two of the world's most, you know, eccentric leaders in the world um, is actually quite something. But if we look at what's really happening here, I think it's important that we should remind ourselves of the fact that the U.S. and North Korea are still technically at war. The war, the Korean War that started at the start of 1950 still continues theoretically because it did not end with a peace treaty. It ended with a ceasefire. So I think what Trump might try to do is offer a peace treaty deal, a peace treaty deal that would formally conclude the war, which would help remove the fear among North Koreans that the U.S. might try to you know, provoke another type of war. In return, Trump might be able to get some sort of promise from Kim Jong-un himself that, yes, we will try to denuclear, denuclearize ourselves, remove our nuclear arms program. I've read a lot this morning uh, limiting my expectations as to what can be achieved in negotiations and indeed what we can predict will happen from here. But why is Kim Jong-un then reaching out at this point? Why is this happening now? That's a very good question. I would have to credit uh, both the world, you know, the UN Security Council and South Korea and the US with a lot of the sanctions um, that actually have been budding in terms of you know, the money that's been going into North Korea. North Korean officials have been feeling the pinch, so to speak, and they feel that it's now time to sort of extend an olive branch because, especially after Kim Jong-un said last year that, yes, we are complete with our nuclear arms program. We have the missile to be able to, keep, to, be able to hit the uh, U.S. mainland with a, with a nuclear arm. So now they you know, set up the sort of the stage for this type of olive branch. And with the Winter Olympics, it, there could not have been a better occasion to, for North Korea to, to send people to South Korea to, you know, try to start some sort of dialogue.